Helium 10, Merchant Informer. All these tools are a really good plus, but you got to understand how to use them, okay? This is more of like a daily thing, a weekly thing, or whatever, however you're doing your research, right? If you can knock your research out for the next two or three months, do so, okay? Hi, my name is RJ Martinez. I'm going to teach you how to find the perfect keywords for your Amazon product. Just with a few simple steps. And make sure you guys give this video a thumbs up. If you get any value out of this video, make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell. And if you have any questions, feel free to comment down below. I'll answer them. All right, so we're gonna start this off with what is a keyword? I just came over here to Google, typed it in, and of course, you know, I showed you a dictionary, what it means, what is a keyword with it, with an example. So right here, keywords are, the words and phrases that people type into us into a search engine to find what they are looking for. Okay, then it gives you an example. Men's leather jacket. Okay. So if you're unaware of what a keyword is, okay, you need to understand that. That's very important. Because you're not gonna rank a product on any platform if you don't know what a keyword is, right? So very, very important that you understand that. And then now that we understand that. We're gonna go ahead and get into some tools that will help you, okay? For example, I make a lot of content on Merch by Amazon and I make a lot of content on Kindle Direct Publishing, print on demand content, basically. I'm gonna show you some free tools that you can use and then I'll show you some paid tools that you can obviously use and uh, kind of just break it down as best as possible to you. And this is gonna help with you making more money in the platform, bring more traction to your listing Okay, whatever the heck it is, okay? So for example, we're gonna use, obviously, I'm gonna use a t-shirt for an example, um, the product, okay? It's a product on Merch by Amazon. We're gonna just use it by kind of doing the research doing that. And the goal is to understand how to find these low competition keywords. And basically, it's a pretty much a rinse and repeat process after you do this, but we wanna find those long tail keywords, right? Most likely if the customers type in, in a long tail keyword, which would be like, you know, three, four or five keywords put together in one. If they're typing that many keywords into the search bar to find a product, that means like they're really passionate in finding that product, right? Right, And they're, they're willing to purchase. And the goal is to give them what they want. So very important. So first tool is gonna be the AMZ Suggestion Expander. This one's a free Chrome extension. I would recommend you plug it in. Okay, and then the next one is uh, Productor for Merch by Amazon. If you don't use this tool, this is a really awesome tool. Awesome dashboard interface. Also too, it helps you with keyword research and all of that fun stuff, right? So if you're just barely starting off, right? And you're very, you're new, this method works. It doesn't matter if you're new or just getting start, whatever, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what you're doing, okay? Because that right there is, it's just going back to the basics and rinse and repeating it. Even if you're just diving into a new niche, you're trying to find those low competition keywords, okay? With very any like results when you go into the search, in, like when you go into the search on Amazon. Um, so basically I already have these tools downloaded. If you come over here, I just typed in donkey shirt, right? And when I typed in a donkey shirt, it gives us a results of 1000. Okay, that's a lot of competing products, right? Okay, so if you understand that, it's like basically if you put donkey shirt in and you're gonna be competing against these many products. So if, if you don't have like the best design, if you don't have like any traffic going to your design, it's gonna be very hard for you to rank on that front page, right? So if you're gonna be ranking on page eight, Nobody really go. I don't go to page eight when I go to Amazon to search for products. Or do you go to page eight to buy a product? I just, uh, usually, the, most of the you know purchasing happens on page one. Page two, you know, some people might go to the next page just to check it out, see what's going on. But the goal is to you know create something where you're already ranking organically on the first page, right? If you do that and you see that there's a search volume for that actual, you know, that long tail keyword and you provide it to the customer, when you make your first sell, most likely you're gonna be ranking in the top results on Amazon, right? And the goal of course is to rank number one. We don't wanna rank number two or number three, number four, or number five. We wanna rank number one, damn it. We want that number one spot, right? So as you come in here, okay? And I'm not saying we're gonna find something in this video, but this is what, you have to do personally if you want to get to that number one spot right it takes research it takes learning about your niche and this is brings me to my next topic which we're going to get into after this one but it just basically research a niche that you understand right and that you know so we type this in 
and this is what we're gonna do. So we come up here to donkey shirt, so we check this. So as we press space, see how the AMZ suggestion expander basically gives us a ton of keywords, okay? And you're gonna see like ideas pop up, okay? And this applies to any niche, it doesn't matter. It can be donkey, it can be monkey, it can be panda, it can be peach niche, well, it doesn't matter what niche it is, okay? You type this in, it's going to give you results, okay? Don't give a rat's donkey shirt, okay? If we type that in, so this long, if a customer's typing in this phrase, okay, into the search engine and type it in shirt, that says something. Let's click on this one, for example, okay? As we, we did that right there, right? It popped up another page, but now look at, this is very interesting, okay? Because we went from 1,000 results to 105 results, okay? Do you get that? That's very, that's very, very powerful. Now, I'm not sure exactly what it means. I need to research it a little bit more. And this, this is very powerful, right? Because you can see what by us doing this little search phrase and, you know, typing in space bar, it tells us, this is the data that tells us the story, right? There can be, obviously you can't do Shrek, right? Don't do that. Um, but there's other sayings in here that you can kind of just dive into in this research. And this, this is the power of this right here. Just taking one idea and then coming in here and seeing what other search phrases are popular in the niche. And sometimes when you do this, right, you do this, you'll be the only shirt design popping up on here, right? And if you want to learn more about it, it's literally just, you know, just you can do a Google search and see what else, what else is popping up, right? Is this like, is, can you design this for Amazon? Right? Is just that people have this on Amazon yet? And you can see that you can see what's going on here. I'm not sure what this is. Of course, you don't want to be infringing on anything. So you need to double check everything and do some more research on this. But this is how powerful this is. Now, let's come over here and see how the productor, how the productor works. So if we come over here, and I'll put this all down, down below in the description too as well. If I, I put, so I, did the search already, right? Did the search donkey shirt when I come down right here. Now this is the productor working right here, okay? It's showing us what long tail keywords this listing is ranking for, okay? And this is this is powerful, funny, big rate designs. Because you're looking at this and researching this and trying to figure out if there's something in here. Cute donkey's horse t-shirt, okay? You're trying to find what ideas you can come up with by just looking at this, right? Because the keywords are the keywords are going to tell you a story, okay? And it just might be uh, a simple like a mini donkey shirt, right? So if you do this search, okay, and it kind of just filtered it out for like the mini donkeys, right? Because that's a whole nother niche, right? Because there's just regular sized donkeys and there's mini sized donkeys. That's we literally miniature okay miniature size donkeys. As we as we do that, we're going to come down here, and you see like we just kind of just went into a whole different niche, right? With the 55 results, see how powerful that is. Learning how to understand the data that Amazon is giving you, okay? Understand that the productor the, the data that the productor is giving you from Amazon. Okay, and just literally diving into a whole different niche, right? And by just putting mini donkey, we literally just cut down the search results to 55. So if you figure out a saying or a phrase that no one else has over here, it's literally that simple to rank on the front page. Because at that point, it's just a rinse and repeat process. Okay, and this applies to any niche, right? So this is how powerful this is. And you can see exactly what I did. And this is very, very crazy time we live in to in the opportunities that we have to make money by just doing stuff like this. All right, so I'm gonna show you guys another way. So the other way is Merch Informer, right? I'm gonna have this down below in the description too as well. All these, these are paid tools, right? So I'm gonna have this down below in the description. Merch Informer, right? I came over here to product research, came over to movers and shakers. Um, now this is something that you can pretty much just check daily the BSR. Okay. And you're going to see the BSR you're going to see the design It's going to share a lot of information with you right here. You click on it. It will bring it over to Amazon, for example, and it will show the shirt design. Okay. 
One of the things I like to do is look at this and see what new niches are popping up on here. Okay. It gives me an idea and it gives me inspiration. Okay. And this can apply to you too as well. If you run out of ideas, you want to come over here, see what the heck is going on. You can see daddy pit crew, right? If you see the BSR, you're going to see this. It drops down and made a sell. It goes up and it drops down again. It makes a sell. You want to see some consistency here. Okay. This from when, from when it's showing you this type of stuff, it's it just basically saying that there's a demand in this niche, right? And if you can come into the niche and find a top saying for that niche, you can definitely make some make some money. I'm not lazy. I'm just hi highly motivated to do nothing, right? And that's that's kind of what I I like to do. I like coming here, see what's going on, see what new niches are are popping off. Obviously, the graduation niche niche is going crazy. Anything related to 4th of July is just, it's gonna start popping off. Proud American, you're gonna see like this is gonna just start cranking off. You can see it sold, it's sold here. Now, quality control manager, cookies, okay. Let's, and so let's take it a little, a step further, right? Okay, so as we, as we're going down, okay, let's, this one is showing a lot of consistency. I'm not sure how, I don't, I'm not, I don't feel too comfortable when it comes to designing anything with masks me personally because i don't know just with dealing with that the pandemic stuff i don't want to mess with none of that stuff um, but it does have a, a good bsr right um, that's on you if you want to do that but me personally no i like this one so what i like to do is a tool to plug in to amazon it's called a tool that works obviously it gets the the keywords and stuff like that from amazon it's called celebro which is right here so when i see a shirt that's doing pretty good and it has a consistent BSR I'd like to grab the ASIN okay and plug it in over here okay this is gonna give me a ton of data okay and it's gonna give me a lot of information about this niche right because this is you'll find new niches in here that are not even related to the niche but people are buying or it's ranking on Amazon for some reason I don't know just how the algorithm works and that's how crazy it is um, but it gives you a ton of information like frequently like so frequently bought together so they bought this shirt and then they bought this shirt or they bought this shirt and they bought this shirt or they bought this shirt and they bought that shirt so you can kind of see where I'm getting at with that not only that we're gonna see what this shirt is ranking for okay the it's basically if it's ranking number one most likely they're using that search phrase to find this product right not lazy i'm lazy lazy gifts for women okay now this is ranking like 184 this is obviously we come down here ranked oh okay published last year so it barely started making so it made a sell then it made another sell okay now it's kind of it's showing some type of consistency there's not enough information, I believe. So let me, so competing products, what I like to do is filter this out. Um, see, we're not, we're not getting a lot of information here. So let's try a different shirt. Always check for your trademarks too as well. Just because I'm showing you this, I'm giving this type of information, always double check. Okay, now this one is showing some good consistency. And I, I love this because it's like, okay, now let's come over here and take advantage of these tools that we can use by looking at you know their their data and stuff like that and you can see that what's frequently bought together because it's just a simple click too you can click on this you know it'll show you some information give you some inspiration to see what's going on and what's doing what's doing well okay so come back over here proud to be an american t-shirt right fourth of july is coming up so this is big right now but you can see there's a ton of competing products. So how the heck are you supposed to rank for that? So well, like I told you, what I like to do is come over here to competing products, put this to 500. And basically you're gonna see, see look at firefighter girlfriend shirt. Okay, you're gonna see, a, so you're gonna see these competing products right here, but you're gonna see phrases in here that might make sense, might, might make sense for a search, um, for a t-shirt design, search, t-shirt design. Okay, black lawyers matter t-shirt. One Nation Under God shirt, okay. Uh, volunteer Firefighter T-shirt. Wildland Firefighter shirt. Firefighter Girlfriend, okay. That's just a whole niche in itself, right? Proud to be a Jew. By looking at this, you're gonna get a ton of different information right here, different ideas for T-shirt designs.
and this is very powerful because what I like to do my best, like what I like to do is, okay, if I say that I want to design for the firefighter girlfriend shirt, I come over here to the search volume. I want to see consistency here. And that's a good amount of consistency. So if you convert for 10% of this traffic right here, all right, each month, you're going to get, you know, 40, 40 sales in this niche per month, right? So if you think about it that way, and then if you click right here, it will basically take you over here, right? And you can see some of the merch shirts that are doing pretty well over here. And this is going to give you inspiration to understand, okay, this niche has a demand. Can I create something over here that's different from everyone else? Now, it's not saying to copy this design because if you copy the design, it's not how it, it's not how the game works. It's not long term. Okay. And for you people that are like, oh, yeah, he's showing me this and uh, he's going he's gonna to show people how to copy. Okay. That only that only you, you and I know that only works for so long until they get in trouble and they do something that they're not supposed to be doing. Right. And you know that if you want a number one T-shirt design in a niche, that's not the way to do it. Okay. That's not a long term play right you want to be original and create something different okay and if you do that you will definitely get a ton of sales on amazon now the goal is obviously to find low competition keywords right and then create something that no one else has in there so remember the process that i've showed you helium 10 merch informer all these tools are a really good plus but you got to understand how to use them okay this is more of like a daily thing a weekly thing or whatever however you're doing your research right if you can knock your research out for the next two or three months do so okay but the idea here is to you know find those long tail keywords that customers are searching in to the search bar these are actual phrases people are searching into the search bar but if you find a long tail keyword and no one has a t-shirt design for Merch by Amazon, okay? And this applies to KDP, applies to pretty much anything Amazon, any product that you're trying to sell on the platform. This way right here is one way to get ahead of your competition, and it does take more work, right, by looking at keywords and researching, making sure there's a search volume. You do not wanna create something, right? For example, here, and then there's no search volume. So you're basically creating a product for no one, right? No one. <laughs> so it's important that you understand and it does take a little bit of time to do your research, but at the end of the day, it's all worth it, right? So very, very important to understand that and check out my next video up here and make sure you guys give this video a thumbs up.